In today's tech tip video, we'll take a look at the scale command. The scale command allows us to increase or decrease the size of our geometry by its global coordinate x, y, or z. It's especially useful when working with imported geometry that do not bring in features. Now the model that I'm working with today is a 10 by 10 cube with a 5 uh, millimeter diameter hole in the middle. Now the reason why I'm sharing these dimensions is because after we perform a scale command, we'll take a look at the dimensions afterwards. So I'm going to come up here to the top using the search command. I'm going to search for scale, initiate it, and you're going to give be given a user interface similar to this, where it's going to ask you what you want to scale about and whether or not you have uh, uniform scaling. If you check this box, you'll get a um, scale factor that is uniform in all three global coordinates. If you uncheck this, you can specify what your X, Y, and Z factors are independently. Now let's keep this simple uh, for the first example and let's say we want to use a uniform scaling where we want to scale this by 2. So SOLIDWORKS already knows which body to use because there's only one body in this example. If you had multi-bodies, SOLIDWORKS would ask you to specify. Uh, same with configurations. So I'm going to come up here to the top and press the green check mark. OK. It's performed the scale command. Initially, we had a 10 by 10 cube. If I re-examine this cube now, I see the length of this is 20 by 20 by 20. 20. All right. And so again, if you created a new scale and increased it by two again, now it should be four, 40 millimeters. Now let me take you through some of the other options that we had available. The other options that we have is centroid as well as coordinate system. So coordinate system, if you specify this, you'll just choose your own custom coordinate scale uh, system that you would you would want to use. The difference between centroid and origin is it's going to choose which um, of these entities is going to keep stationary while it scales this. To give this a uh, better illustration, let me turn on my origin and then rotate my model so you can see that the origin sits down at the bottom here. So this was scaled using the origin and you can see that the bottom face is attached to the origin. After this scale command has been performed, the origin remains in its original location at the bottom of the cube. However, if I use the centroid option, it's going to keep the center of this cube where it is and increase the size the other options that we had available to us is non-uniform scaling, where we can specify what the factors are in independent x, y, and z. So here I can say 2, 3, and 4. Take a look at what the results are. And you can see it scaled this by 2, 3, and 4. So over down here we have this is 4, 40 millimeters. 30 millimeters and 20 millimeters. But you can see that the hole on top was stretched. So be careful of stretching. Make sure to have your uniform scaling option turned on. And that's been your look at the scale command. Thanks.